The purpose of this section of the video is to demonstrate the preparation of autologous platelet concentrate, APC+, using the SmartPrep2 platelet concentrate system. The equipment needed to produce this product consists of a microprocessor-controlled SmartPrep2 centrifuge system, a convenient workstation, a blue reusable counterbalance weight, and disposable APC Plus procedure pack and applicator kits, which include a process disposable, sterile cups, plasma syringe, and a platelet concentrate syringe. The APC60 disposable processes 60 ml of anticoagulated whole blood yielding an autologous platelet concentrate, APC product, between 7 to 10 ml, depending on the need for a particular procedure. Each disposable kit comes with everything necessary to draw and process the patient's blood. You will need gloves from your facility. When the process kit is opened, transfer the wrapped sterile cups to the surgical or sterile field. Load the 60 ml blood draw syringe with 8 ml of ACD. Transfer 2 ml into the plasma side of the process disposable, which is marked by the white port. This ACD in the disposable chamber aids in platelet resuspension. The other 6 ml of ACD remain in the syringe and are used for the patient blood draw. For additional techniques, refer to the instructions for use in the process kit. When loading the blood, be sure to follow aseptic technique by first wiping the red port of the process disposable with an alcohol pad. Next, slowly transfer the total volume of blood from the blood draw syringe into the blood chamber of the process disposable, which is marked with a red port. Place the filled process disposable into the Smart Prep 2 system in the appropriate orientation. Align the white port on the rotor with the white dot on the disposable. The blood should be processed shortly after it is put into the disposable. If you are processing one disposable, insert the reusable balance weight with the blue label into the opposing rotor trunnion. Failure to use the balance weight will result in an imbalance and the centrifuge will automatically shut down. Ensure that the process disposable and balance weight are completely seated into the rotor trunnion. Close the lid securely. Press the green start button located on the front panel of the Smart Prep 2 system. The Smart Prep 2 uses an automated dual spin and decanting process coupled with a self-calibrating floating shelf technology to automatically optimize platelet recovery. The display on the front of the Smart Prep 2 system shows the remaining processing time in minutes. The entire process is automatic and completed in approximately 14 minutes. An audible alarm will sound once the cycle has been completed, indicating that it is now safe to open the lid and remove the process disposable. Press the white lid button located on the front panel of the Smart Prep 2 system. Remove the process disposable. Avoid tilting, dropping, or shaking the process disposable as this can prematurely mix the separated components. The blood chamber of the process disposable contains the packed red blood cells. The plasma chamber contains the platelet concentrate, a button-like precipitate, and platelet-poor plasma, supernatant. Place the process disposable in the disposable holder located on the Smart Prep 2 workstation or in the appropriate nest within the sterile package. Using aseptic technique, Take the plasma syringe with blunt cannula and spacers and confirm that the syringe plunger moves and all the air is expressed from the syringe. Remove the protective sleeve from the cannula. Insert the plasma syringe into the white port of the plasma chamber. Push the syringe down until the spacer guide is firmly seated against the white port. Withdraw platelet-poor plasma volume from the plasma chamber until air enters the syringe. Transfer the recovered platelet-poor plasma into the yellow cup located in the surgical field or discard. Approximately 10 ml of plasma and platelet concentrate will be left behind in the APC60 process disposable with both spacers in place. 
If a further concentration of platelets is desired, removing the smaller of the two spacer guides will leave behind approximately 7 ml of plasma and platelet concentrate. To resuspend the platelets, use the platelet concentrate syringe with blunt needle and no spacers. Remove the protective sleeve and withdraw the remaining platelet pour plasma and platelet concentrate. Gently aspirate and express the concentrate in and out of the syringe into the plasma chamber, flushing along the wall of the chamber. Do not use excessive force so as to avoid foaming and platelet activation. Repeat this process two to three times until the platelets have been visibly resuspended in the plasma and the white halo, buffy coat, that lines the wall of the plasma chamber above the red cells has been removed. Withdraw the total volume of the platelet concentrate into the syringe. Look at the base of the plasma chamber to confirm that all the platelets have been resuspended and withdrawn into the platelet concentrate syringe. For sterile technique, transfer the recovered platelet concentrate into the red cup located on the surgical field by slowly expressing the platelet concentrate from the syringe. Avoid excessive force when transferring the platelet concentrate.